Hey guys, it's Rowan here from Witty Southland. Today we're just doing a wee video edit on our new 2050. So today's video we um, went out behind the hill, run around bluff with a couple of the lads, and uh, the viz is going to be a bit mixed, but um, we knew it was going to be a good day out. Uh, we'd heard there were plenty of craze around. So a little bit of overcast weather coming out of bluff. Um, it was a little bit rough on the way home, which you'll see later on in the video, but uh, luckily the new boat handles everything like an absolute dream. Steaming out of Bluff Harbour, it's flat, flat as in the morning, um, and it was just a, a nice way to sort of ease into the day. And uh, I thought we'd start off by showing you uh, what we're actually trying to get, and that's a whole bunch of crayfish. So here you can see some crays hiding in a deep dark cave. Um, they're kind of grouping up, they're up on the walls, uh, right far back, and then these little ones have obviously got some nice little holes that they're going to live in. And this is a pretty standard nest, um, not huge numbers, there might be four, five, six times the numbers in there usually, um, but you can see they're in a nice way sheltered. This is on the other side of the nest, um, there were a couple of crows in there but they'd flicked across um, under there, so I come around and I have a wee look. And uh, there's old mate again just hanging out, you can see the big spines on the top of their head and their little claws, that's a wee little female there because it doesn't have big, uh, big buck claws. And there's the other guys sitting up on the roof waiting. Here's another, uh, this is a, this is Bruce, the big buck cray, so you can see, the camera takes a wee bit to adjust, but you can see it's two huge massive fighting claws out the front, and he's protecting what looks like a little female on the right there. Uh, this guy would have been an easy uh, three, three and a half kilo cray, um, and I came back in to try and see him, but um, he'd, he'd retreated back in, but right next to him was this other little male, uh, obviously didn't want to get too close to Bruce, so he uh, had his own little territory that he was hanging out in. It's always worth checking out, uh, you know, if you're finding a couple of crays, um, to check out the surrounding areas because they tend to sort of hang out together. So this is more, um, again, us looking for crays. So you can see I'm getting right down um, on the bottom of, at, at eye level underneath these rocks. Sometimes you can see the antennas from the surface, but most of the time you are having to get right down in amongst the cracks, looking for these sort of, that's a nice boulder, which has got a lot of area underneath where crays are going to hide. Um, again, coming down, having a look, and you can see right in this crack here, just hanging out. So there's not much to see from the surface, so you, you are going to have to get under every rock. It's the, it's the best piece of advice I give everyone that's looking for crays, is just start looking under every single rock and you'll soon learn um, the terrain and that that they're going to sit under. So there's no way you would have seen him from the surface but by getting down at eye level um, you can see again here getting right down in amongst the cracks and stuff which can be scary um, if you're not used to it but it does literally it's a comfort thing. Um, the more you do it um, the more confident you're going to get about getting into those holes and that's why it's always good that we always have a spotter um, you know ironically doing filming but spotting us looking in so you can see again I'm getting right down amongst it looking in amongst all these deep deep cracks and holes you know a little bit of breath hold does help so it lets your eyes adjust but otherwise using one of our torches um, is, is the other easy way to sort of quickly scan holes but you can see it's it's awesome terrain here big boulders lots of kelp lots of cover for them because obviously crays don't like sunlight um, so the darker an area is, the more likely they're going to be hiding out underneath it. So again, just looking down, lots of lots of diving into cracks. Again, you wouldn't have seen this fella from the surface. And coming in and having a look. And there's a nice little fella sitting out in the open. So this is more your classic, you're going to be able to see him from the surface. And, um, and give him a crack nice and easy, because he's out in the open essentially. And as you can see, uh, I've yeah cocked it up a wee bit, and I had to I had to place it on my chest to grab it. But um, overall, we got it. And again, another nice dark cave. Um, you can see this one here didn't want to come out, so you can see just a, a wee little tug on the backwards and forwards, um, and that's gonna that's gonna release their legs so that they're gonna actually be able to pull pull out with you. Because you got to remember, they 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 don't want to leave their home, so they're gonna be fighting uh, with all their legs against it. But if you if you push them back into their hole sometimes that gets their legs out of kilter and actually allows an easy pull so if you are struggling to get those crays out of the hole backwards and forwards them but um, by holding the base of the horns and sometimes that's enough 
as you can see we're pretty fond of the old lobster mobster and u2050 and uh, it had chopped up quite a wee bit on the way home uh, as you guys will see in this footage here but luckily this uh, this new 2050 rides absolutely amazing um, and we put it through the paces there's a good sort of 15 20 knot breeze coming in a fair bit of white water um, and old stocky on the left here got a bit lippy about uh, that it was going too slow so we decided to uh, give it give it the give it the medal and <laughs> punch our way through it um, but yeah overall sweet day out crazy coming in on good numbers at the moment which is which is always nice um, but yeah so once again guys thanks for watching um, if you've got any tips or trips that you think we're missing out on feel free to uh, send us a message but otherwise uh, keep safe and keep on watching don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube thanks guys keep safe and enjoy the dives